to Sarah George playing Final Fantasy 3. Tell us, Lewis is the baby, raised by my own daughter. She's supposed to go to bed sick night. I like, can apologize to her for the way her life has turned out. Yeah. Oh, it's Kefka. That's a wall. That is a wall. Such a liar. It's Kefka. It's not Kefka, it's a wall. Yeah. So, how y'all doing? Uh, going through this train track thing. It looks so weird when you're actually going forward. Alright, these guys aren't hard. Uh, you can't kill them in one hit with dispatch. If I was like a high, if I was like a one, one level higher, I'd probably kill them in one hit with dispatch, but I don't, so I have to do that. Chainsaw will kill in one hit, drill will kill in one hit. But block and sign like the plan is to get Sabine to kill one and Lock and Sion to kill the other one because there's only ever at least two at a time, so. They're not hard, really. They have low defense. Um but they have they have they do they can do some damage if you don't kill them fast, so. See, yeah, I should I should have clicked change on the other one, but I didn't. And they we're gonna get hit because of it. That was probably once, but still gonna get hit, yep. Yeah, they don't give a lot of XP or GP. They're not, you know, really hard enemies. That's, yeah, they're pretty low level. But, uh, yeah. This does end with a boss. Surprise, I know, right? Is it a lot at the end of this? It's like, we've never done anything like this before. Like, when we fall down a waterfall, and they fought a bunch of those, um, fish, and then they fought the hard fish. It's like, almost like it's not the same thing, except for it is, you're just going on a train track. So you fight a bunch of these guys, can't avoid any of these battles, so that's why I'm not gonna cut them out. Um, do all these battles. I think it's like it's like five or six battles, and then you end up at the boss. And the boss is well, the boss is kind of hard, but not too hard if you keep everybody alive and use drill and or chainsaw. Okay, kill another another set. See, the reason sometimes I accidentally, like, I, like, it looks like I do chainsaw on the same person is because I do, but, like, to go down to that, it, like, I think of them as columns when they're actually, like, that one, the one on top is in a different row than the other one, as well as a different column. Like, it's in the front and it's in, it's on the left or whatever, right? Or it's on the right, so the you gotta be on the character's right. So, to me, like, I click down to go to the other one, but then it doesn't move and then I click it and be like, wait, I should click over, you know? That's how you go to the next enemy. Clicking over, not down. But I'm not very smart so Because they're so big, you can't really tell where they're at exactly. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. If only everybody had a chainsaw. It's called Chainsaw Fantasy. I'm going to try Um... Oh, okay, so here we go. So this is the boss, number 128. Uh, it's kind of nasty looking. It's like all muscly. You know, coming out of its neck and back. With, like it doesn't have a stomach at all. And then, <laughs> and then it has like this... I think those are like... Well, I don't think those are veins. I think they're wires. Because it seems like it's some kind of robot. Yeah, you can kill its arms and like its two arms. Uh, I don't know. Like I think the back arm is what does Red Feast. Which sucks. It's, it's pretty much like a like a vampire movie. It sucks at your health and gives health to him. Um, and then I think it's, and it's back arm doesn't move called like rapier or something, but the front arm just does like, like attacks, I think, like strong attacks. But yeah, him himself, he's, he has net, which, yeah, that sucks. That pink outline, I don't remember what it's called, but like, I won't be able to move, like, he won't do anything for like two turns. Like, I'll be, I'll, like, I'll attack with block and sign again before I can attack with Edgar. Even though he's already charged all the way up. Yeah, make sure you don't, don't skimp on the potions. Your health goes below 200, you might as well heal. Because you don't know what's going to happen after that. Um. Yeah, see, that's the thing about dispatch. It's sometimes, like, I don't really care for attacking the arms, because like, even because they grow back. Like, he grows them back, so it's not like it's really useful to cut them off first and then attack them, because he just grows the arms back later, so. And not, like, a couple turns later, like, like, as soon as I cut his arm off, he'll grow both of them back at the same time, and he's like, sick. Yeah, it's annoying, so. Yeah, 
I did the Bio Blaster on purpose. I just wanted to. Because it takes his health down a little bit, I think, every turn. Like, it's like a, you know. So. Yeah, see, it does for you. Yep, he's dead. So, set up a command. If you really, like, if he's doing way too much damage, cut off one of his arms, don't cut off the other one. And then, because cut off the other one, he immediately gets both of them back. So, cut off one of his arms, kill him. I got a 10. Okay. Boom. Okay. Uh, what's this way? Oh. Okay. There wasn't a save point over here earlier. It was, it was just, yeah, okay. Let's go. I think there's, uh, one more. Oh, yeah, I remember what happens. Okay. I'm starting to worry. Bet you were, bud. What's up, Salus? We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Okay, so take whatever you say, bud. Miss. Scud. <laughs> Scud. Anyway. I don't think so. You don't get away. Wait, what do you mean? What are you gonna do? Whoa! Some shit. Oh, those are the, are those the statues you're talking about? Because they look more like uh, train machines, but sure, I guess you could say they're statues. Unless that's not what you're talking about. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh. That's not a wish to have, is it? Right here on the double. Right. Speaking of which, maybe we should be leaving. Whoa, what is that? Nighttime. Oh. Something horrible is coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, get out. Anyway, okay, so, sets are is not uh, if you want to use Setzer you can use it. I think Setzer is a good substitute. like I think Sabine's better than Zion. But I think Setzer is a good substitute for Sabine. I mean not for Sabine. I think Setzer is a good sub a substitute for for Zion. Cuz he has this move and I'm not good at it. I'll probably get like I'll probably do this move 3 times before this battle's over. It's not a long battle you really. I mean I'll probably just use attack. But yeah, he does that though if he messes it up, which heals you, which isn't bad. But uh if you do it right, you do like something. I remember. I, let's see. I, I'm gonna try to do it right, but you know, we'll see. Oh, that was so much damage. And the thing is, they can still attack while I'm, while I'm doing this. So. Dang it. Yeah, science died. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What to, wait, what? Uh, I think that thunder, that thunder saber is giving him health when I use it. That's not good. I mean, I guess I'll kill probably still end up killing him before he does anything. Man. She's fight this time. His, his attacks aren't that strong though. Like they're like, oh jeez. Uh, oh, don't they have? Oh, uh, why do I keep giving him? I keep giving him. Oh mm. uh, yep. Okay, Locke's gonna die. He's, he's gonna die. This gigavolt move is really strong. Yeah. Though it did kill him. He, yes. He no. I need to. Do, I need. If I can get that slot to work, it should kill him. I do. I do. Um, don't, 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 don't! You did it. You did it? Anyway. Anyway, that's, uh, where's that? Where's that? There it is. I was like, where's it at? Okay. There you go. Oh, that's Tech Barrier. Okay. See, I was, I was hoping he wasn't gonna kill Edgar, because, you know. Probably will. Alright, uh, let's. Let's use slot. I bet I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I did it. I did it! Seven flush. You're getting flushed. Yeah, it does that. It looks cool. Does 700 damage. See, to me, that's like some bull crap, because I could do, like, aura blitz and it would work every time. Or I could do, like, uh,. You know, drill, and it would work every time, and it would do that damage or more. So I just don't see the point in having him. I really, it's just annoying. If you're really good at using it, then go ahead. He's a good character if you're good at using that slot, but I'm not. And I think it takes too much, too much time too. For me, I think if you can just like go click, 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 and it works, then 
And if you, if you can do that, then awesome, but I can't, and it takes me like a long time to get to like, even decide to click it, and then once I do, it still doesn't work, so I have to go like... Ugh, it's annoying. Anyway. Oh, yeah, right this part. Terra. Well. She's reacting with it. Father. I remember it all. I was raised in the Esper's world. Oh, really? Okay, let's let's say we were raised in the Esper world. The Esper world. Oh, I surprised you said that in her voice, huh? The Esper world. I don't know. Yeah, now I'm this guy. Pretty cool looking. He has, I guess he has running shoes on. For, I don't know why, but he, or not running shoes, uh, sprint shoes or whatever. It's kind of weird. You don't actually, I don't think I've, yeah, never mind. Where's he? Something's going through the gate. Yeah. Okay. Let's go look at the gate then. Hey, it's a, that's what we're trying to get. Leave her here. No. That's a dumb. She's pretty weak, but her livers for a moment. Okay. No. I'm not gonna live rest at all. Hey, lady. Did I wake you? You are an Esper. What's that pendant for? It's yours now. It helps protect the Esper world. Esper world? Boy, did I take a little or what? Esper folk are pretty upset, you being human and all. You're the one who saved me? Yes. Yeah, I know. I am Maruin. I am tired of living in the human world. That world is full of desire, greed, and loathing. It's highly infectious. Are humans and espers? They're dark. Oh, dang, I messed it up. So, so I'm an example of evil in the world, huh? No, I mean... How about you know I world tomorrow? You don't need a guide. Alright, let's ask the old elder. Everything all right. What? You hear what's going on? That looks like that guy. Uh, the you have other car. Then you told that. Looks like that guy. From, remember, he's in the dungeon at um. What's wrong, Maui? Well, he he's at the what's it called? What's it called? The dungeon in Sabine's in Figaro, the Figaro Castle. That lone wolf guy. Anyway, uh, human Jaspers can never coexist. How do we know for sure unless we observe it for ourselves? Oh, they think it's all pervy. It's like, how do we know for sure? Like, I think that's supposed to be their, um, I think it's supposed to be, like, his, uh, com or something? Unless we... Observe for ourselves. And then, uh, their seeds come together, and uh, their seed and the egg, and then something... Oh, what's that? We've given her... We've given her a name. What? It's Tara. Not bad, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Okay, their names look like I see M and I see M and I go, oh. Like it's mad mad. They're both mad. Humans, then see our world has been joined open again, like when saw it just like two years ago. Yeah, that's like that lone wolf guy that's in Fagar Castle. Yeah, the chips oh these dragon away, that's so creepy. I don't know how they're beating them though. Like they're just regular people. These guys have magic. You use a fire blast or something, they're just like getting beaten getting beat the crap out of and dragged away by guys in just regular old armor. Like it's weird to me. Need to raise this world. Describe the optimal magical purposes of these beasts. Yeah, at least. Grab the bridge to any man who captures an Esper. Go! Wah, 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 wah. Oh, man. Why does it have brown hair? Does it have green hair, isn't it? There's no choice. What's to do with the void? You mean the magical barrier? There's our plan. We'll cause the tempest out sick, but as they creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I'm the last of our kind. Maybe we'll seal this magical seal. <laughs> In your state, you might just pass away. At least we'll be fine and safe. Um, I for one would not miss the other side. Okay, whatever you say, lady. Doesn't really care. Let's do it. We have no other choice. Okay. Oh, it's that fairy chick. Who's that? 
was over there with that hearing girl. Nonsense. She were here, and one of the finest. Get a grip on yourself. No, she's one of them. Shouldn't you be wearing our hearts? Boom. <laughs> what? I don't know why she went to the gate, though. That's stupid. Okay, so anyway, let's go. Oh, yeah, we're not in our house. I thought we was at our house. No, we're, I guess we're at someone else's house. It looks exactly the same, though. Uh, let's go. Go this way, and then go, uh, yeah, go up. There's the elder. Talk to him. Where are you going to go? The dawn is getting, yeah, man, uh, impossible. It's too late. We're going to catch the barrier. That fool. Yeah, she's a fool. Shouldn't have left. Look what popped out. The look what popped out. Huh. Shriek. <laughs> Variable bonanza. You look so dumb. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'll go. Uh, I don't know why, but hey, let's just go forward. Let's just see, uh, do you have a bunny tail? Anyway. Thank you. Can you make it back? Sure. And then watch this. <laughs> it just bounces. It bounces away. Uh, Terra. Oh, I mean, Terra bounces away. <laughs> Madonna. Yeah. Just bounces. I just, I every, it's just bouncing babies up. Uh, uh, human girl. Who is she? Please take care of my baby. You go. Yeah, hmm, this is half human, half, half absolutely fascinating. Wahaha! <laughs> Help us realize our dreams. You know, he's just like, no, no, no. He's like, what, like, like, my dear? You gave him to her. Or gave her to him. Yeah. Yeah, he just smacks her <laughs> to death. Rules, what? Ha ha! And the door to the Esper world is sealed. Okay. Wow, that's some some deep stuff. Well, hopefully, get her back on. I'd, I'll take her. That was my father. Yeah, that was your father. My project of an expert and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I finally feel like I can begin to control this power of mine. So, Gustavo must have known the secret to the Emperor's power back then. And those experts at the facility were grabbed during the, explosion, er, the expedition. That makes tells his power came at the expense of an expert. We can't get away with this. We have to fight back. Yeah, yeah, I get you. What's happening in Earth? Hmm, maybe we should go take a look. Okay, so yeah. Let's go take a look, I guess. The air chief's ready. Is it really? Come on! Okay, sure, why not? Um, yeah, just this teleport you. But in Nars, I guess you can switch it. I'll switch my party up. I think I'm gonna get rid of Locke and add in Sabine. I don't know. What do I mean? Take a turn at the wheel. Yeah, you just. Yeah, it tells you how to control it. Um. But yeah, change the party, push items. You, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, no, but yeah, sure. Start button to look at the world map. Move in all directions over and then speed turns. I don't. What do you need that for? Like, you don't. The I feel like you turn fast enough, but okay. So when you go to Nars, wait, accidentally click the wrong button. That's weird. I may have clicked that and just stand there. They had to land. So that's. That, like, changes your altitude, but, but you just need to click, uh. That like the A button to actually just move, so I could just you just turn and just move. Uh, Narsh is over here. This isn't Narsh. Narsh is up, way up. Yeah, like right around here somewhere. Uh, yep, yeah, this is it. Right, right, back. come on. Right, yeah, there it is. I just need to go a little bit forward and land. I can land like right here, I think. Like right, you can land like right in front of the cities. Kind of nice. Yep. And then just walk straight into it. Alright, so, this is Sir Taurus. Next time, we'll go see what's happening in Narsh and switch our team up a little bit and, you know, get stuff done. See you later, guys!